Can I more. taste your juice? Hey folks, P. Bissardo. Finally, 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 I have been permitted to talk to you guys about the new P3, the Provary version 3. They are calling it uh, the P3. Hopefully, uh, this will stop some of you from trying to pump me for information, okay? Uh, you know, I wanted to do something at the beginning of this video, and I wanted to do like this little ode to the original um, ProVape or the ProVary uh, review that I did so many years ago now at this point. Um, and I tried doing it, and it just... It sucks without the music, and if I put the Enigma Sadness in there, um, the YouTube police, they come and get me, and, and I can't do it. Um, so I, I actually recorded it, and there was one little funny thing that happened in the video. Uh, here I am walking in to grab the brand new P3, and I look down, and I have no idea where I put it. So... <laughs> So, off the screen, I go again, and I would show you the whole thing, but it, it, trust me, it's lame. It's lame without the music. I need that creative license, and, and YouTube is not allowing me to do that. So, yeah, I mean, that's what happened to the last uh, review that I did for uh, the Provary. Um, it was up there for a long time, and then all of a sudden, YouTube flagged it, and I, I had to keep it up there, so I took the music out, and it just, it just, it lost its, it lost its flair. So again, uh, they have finally permitted me to give you guys a first look at the Provary uh, P3, and here it is. Uh, don't worry, there's going to be a lot of close-ups, a lot of photos uh, in this video. Okay, uh, first of all, let me tell you what this video is going to be and what it's not going to be, all right? Uh, we're going to start the video off with a, um, a little sneak peek, uh, kind of a little sexy video that they put together. All right, we'll do that. And then we're going we're gonna to take a first look at it. And that's what it's going to be. It's going to be a first look. So no commentary, no thumbs up, no thumbs down, no opinion injected into it. Just the facts about it, all right? Uh, so we are going to take a look at it from the top down. We're going to talk about the features, and that's about it. That's about it. Will there be a full review on it? You bet there will be. Will I be brutally honest in that full review? You bet I will be, okay? But at this point, this is just the first look because it is still kind of in a beta state. All right. Uh, a couple other things that I, I can and cannot do uh, in this video. I can't tell you when the the official release date is because I still don't think that even they know. But what I can tell you is that when this does become available, okay, it's not going to be available online at first. Okay. Uh, what they are doing is they want to show their authorized resellers their appreciation for carrying the other uh, probate product. So they are going to make it available to them first. So when this does become available, you're going to be able to buy it at an authorized reseller brick and mortar at first only. Okay. Now uh, they are going to be in contact with the um, their authorized resellers. So um, I would suggest you talk to them and not ProVape about when this thing is going to become available. Now, should you want to find a uh, your closest brick and mortar who is an authorized uh, reseller for ProVape, uh, what you do is you go to the ProVape.com website. They have a locator there at the top of the website. You click that, and it'll show you where the, uh, the nearest store is uh, to you. The other thing that I can't tell you is price at this point. Uh, I can tell you that it's going to be more expensive than the current V2.5 that's out there, Okay, but I can't give you an exact price on it. All right, so let's have our very first vape on the uh, the new P3 live on camera. It's not really live, but you get what I'm saying. Here we go. Ooh, look at that. It vapes. How about that? All right, and now let's take a look at the, uh, the Pro Vape sneak peek video on the brand new P3. Pretty sexy, right? I thought so anyway. Um, what I did was I took a bunch of photos of the device as well, okay? So what we'll do now is a little bit of a slideshow as I read to you. Let me stress that. Read to you, okay? So I'm going to be reading some information that they wanted me to provide to you, okay? So that's what we're going to do. 
Um, so I'm going to read to you some of the information. Then we'll get out the other camera. We'll take a look at it close up, and we'll talk about some of the features, and we'll show you some stuff on the menu as well. All right, so let's do that now. All right, so the P3 has been in development for a long time, a little bit over a year, and it's undergone a lot of testing. And we've seen some of that testing when we visited the, uh, the ProVape factory or facility. Uh, the boards are frozen at 20 degrees below zero Fahrenheit. They're heated up to 120 degrees Fahrenheit. They're misted, they're submerged in water, and they are designed to withstand shock and vibration. It's made by a U.S. company in the U.S., now, after meeting with these folks and talking with them for a while, I, I have come to know that the folks at ProVape are very, very concerned uh, with safety in their devices and, and your safety when you use their devices. So when you push the button, you know it's safe to vape. They do battery monitoring, they do battery testing, and the device has multiple redundant safety systems built into it. And by the way, all of the instruction guides or the manuals or the procedures, uh, they are going to come to you when you buy the, uh, the P3, but they're not going to come to you in paper form. Uh, they're going to be included on this little custom USB ProVape jump drive there, okay? So everything you need is going to be right on here, and it's going to be included uh, with your device. All right, so there you go. Now let's get out the other camera and take a, a closer look at the device itself. All right, folks, so here we are up close and personal with the all-new uh, ProVary P3 from ProVape. Uh, let's start off with a little size comparison, okay? Let's go ahead and match this up. Uh, with a older uh, ProVary, and you can see it's it's uh, a little bit longer, just ever so slightly longer. All right, this is a 310 grade stainless steel. It's got a nice heavy feel to it. It's really, really solid. Uh, let's start off with the top cap here, and let's zoom in a little bit. Gone is the slant, yay. Uh, so we have a nice straight top cap here. Uh, if we look closer on one side, uh, it is going to say made in the U.S., uh, and on the other side, it is going to say ProVape right there. Now, we've got some interesting things going on up here. Uh, first of all, this outer ring is removable. Uh, again, this is a 23 millimeter device, so maybe they have plans on a, a tapered uh, ring, uh, but this is uh, removable. And then this piece here is removable as well, so if I get in there... Uh, I can unscrew this, so if you have problems with your threading, uh, now we can just order a new part and fix our thread issues. Uh, the other good thing is, what we are left with is what they are calling the P3 thread, okay? And what a great platform this would be for a hybrid uh, connection, because they are stating that this thread here will handle over 10 times the torque of a standard 510 connection, okay? So this would be a really resilient hybrid connection connection here uh, and much stronger than the 510. All right, let's go ahead and reassemble this now. We'll go ahead and screw this in. When this goes in, you want to make sure that this is nice and tight so that it doesn't come out uh, with the device that you're, you know, you're taking off of it. All right, and then we can screw this piece back on here. Uh, obviously, you have plenty of air channels for devices that are going to get uh, their air from here rather than the side. All right, so let's go ahead and screw a K fun onto here and see what happens because I get about that far and it stops, okay? So now what do I do? I have to adjust the K-Fun, right? No. Uh, the new P3 does have a movable 510 pin, so I can just tighten this up and that pin does move down. Uh, I've screwed a whole bunch of things onto this, folks, and I haven't had any issues with anything. Uh, even the uh, the Earl Koenigan uh, tank that I uh, just reviewed the other day that uh, does not fire on a few of my box mods screws onto here and works just fine, okay? So uh, there's that, uh, a movable 510 pin in there. Um, we take a look at the screen. Gone are the two uh, screws there. The mount points, they're gone, okay? So we have a nice flush plexi screen here. On the other side, uh, we've got a button. We've got a button we're very, very familiar with because it does have the look and the feel of the original ProVary button. So when you're using this, it, it still feels like a ProVary, which I actually like. We do have some logoing right here, ProVary. Uh, we also have their new logo on the sides of this. And that logo looks strangely like PB, doesn't it? A little bit, but, but no, it's, uh, it's P3. And we've got one on this side, one on that side. Uh, we've got a beauty uh, design here or a cut here. We've got one here 
and one here. Now we got two uh, sections here uh, because we have two battery uh, sections. Now the uh, the P3 is going to come with all of the battery sections. So you're going to be able to use this in the 18350 mode with none of these and just the bottom cap, the 18490 mode with just one of them and the bottom cap, or the 18650 mode with both of them and the bottom cap. And again, those are going to be included. Now let's take a look at the battery that I have in here because this is a, a new feature as well. Uh, I've got a Sony VTC4, okay, and that is a flat top, okay, and flat tops work just fine in this device. Uh, while I have this unscrewed, you may ask yourself, well, you know, I have a, uh, a you know, a Provary extension tube, aftermarket, whatever, is the threading the same? Here's the uh, the old extension cap, you bet the threading is the same, so you'll be able to use uh, all of your aftermarket uh, tubes or extensions or whatever you might have uh, with this device. So let's go ahead and screw that back on. We'll take a look down here. Here's our bottom cap. We'll zoom in a little bit. Uh, we do have some uh, decorative cuts in here and a couple of pips as well. Kind of a little ode to the, uh, the, to the original. Uh, and then, of course, we have venting down here at the bottom. All right, now, before we get into some of the features on uh, the device, let's talk about specs first, okay? So the specs on this one. Uh, first of all, is it variable voltage? Yes, of course it is. Is it variable wattage? Yes, it is. Okay, so you can adjust this in volts or watts. Uh, we do have reverse battery protection on this one. Uh, the cutoff on this is 16 seconds, so you can fire it for 16 seconds before it cuts off. Uh, it does have thermal monitoring inside, so if the board overheats, it's going to spit an error. We're going to talk about the errors in a little bit. What can you adjust this to? Uh, in voltage, you can go from 2.9 volts up to 6 volts. In wattage, you can go from 3 watts up to 20 watts, and it will fire down as low as a 0.7 ohm load, okay? So those are the specs on it. All right, so now let's talk about uh, some of the features that the, uh, the new P3 has, and they really packed a lot of stuff into this one. Okay, uh, first of all, the menuing system on this, kind of unique, okay, it's got this scrolling menu, uh, and you can adjust the speed of that scroll, okay, so if you're a new user, you could set it to be ridiculously slow, uh, and if you are a more advanced user, if you're more used to using the menu, you could set it to go much, much faster than that. Obviously, you do have on and off capabilities here to turn the device off when it's not in use so it uh, doesn't accidentally fire. Now, it does have a battery gauge on it, but, but the way they did the battery gauge is a little bit different, okay? Uh, they used some more calculations in trying to figure out the percentage of your battery remaining based on the way you vape and what you have screwed onto it, okay? So it's not just a raw reading of the battery voltage. Uh, it is trying to figure it out intelligently for you. As a matter of fact, when you first uh, put a battery in here, uh, you'll notice that the gauge is actually empty uh, until you vape it a couple of times as it figures out what you have screwed onto it, what, what your settings are. Um, so as you change your settings, you'll notice that the, um, or you change the resistance of your attached atomizer, you'll notice the percentage of your battery charge remaining changes based on how you're using the device. Another feature of the device is this concept of an IQ. In this case, it doesn't stand for intelligence quotient, okay? Uh, it actually stands for input quality. And what's going on here is it's not only monitoring the uh, the battery and the health of the battery, but it also attempts to, to monitor um, all of the connection points and basically the health of the entire device uh, from the bottom cap all the way up to the atomizer, okay? So if you see the device has a low IQ, doesn't mean it's not very smart, doesn't mean you're not very smart, but it means you could potentially have an issue somewhere. Check your connections, clean your connections, clean your threading, clean your contacts, clean your spring, uh, and maybe uh, replace your battery, okay? So that's kind of a unique feature here too. You may have also noticed in that last clip that it does uh, measure the resistance to two decimal places, not one, okay? Obviously, you're gonna be able to adjust this in voltage or wattage. You're gonna be able to adjust up, you're gonna be able to adjust down. Uh, it does have round robining and it does have auto scroll. It does have an OLED display. You're going to be able to adjust the brightness of that display for a uh, darker environment or a brighter environment. Uh, and you can flip the display, okay? So uh, no issues for you lefties or you righties out there. You can flip the display to make it more comfortable for you to look at. All right, now the button on this one, much like the previous Provary, we do have a backlit translucent button. The difference is with this one, uh, you can change the color on it. Right now I do have it set for 
uh, aqua right there. You do have a selection of seven different colors or a, uh, a scroll, meaning that every time you push the button, it's a different color. You can, of course, keep the, uh, the button turned off if you want, so it doesn't light up when you press it. And I am very happy to report that it does support Dimitri Pink. Now, this does have something they're calling a hot shot boost, okay? And we've seen this on a couple other devices that I've reviewed. What it does is, is it brings your power up above your setting for a given period of time, then drops it back down to your setting. Why? To heat up your coil faster, maybe to prevent you from taking primer puffs, okay? Um, and I, I happen to be a fan of that feature. Now, uh, it's got five settings of this Hot Shot Boost. Uh, I have played with it, but I haven't scoped it yet, so I can't tell you exactly what it's doing. But when we get to the real review, you bet I'm going to show you what it's doing, okay? So it's got that feature in there as well. User profiles. It does have five slots of user profiles in here. And I kind of saved this towards the end because what I wanted to tell you was everything that we have set in the past. Uh, our wattage or our voltage, uh, the color of our button, the orientation of our screen, the brightness of our display, the speed of our scroll, everything gets stored in that user profile. So you could have different user profiles for different uh, atomizers, different liquids, uh, whatever you want to do, uh, this will store the profile and every setting that you have in the device at the time you save that particular profile. If you are concerned about getting a clone or a knockoff or a replica, uh, every one of these does come with a uh, unique digital ID or serial number uh, built into the device, uh, and you can use that number to validate whether or not you've got a real one. Buy from an authorized ProVape reseller, and you're not going to have that problem anyway, but it's in there. And finally, as promised, let's talk about the error codes in the new P3, okay? What are the error codes? What are those cryptic error messages that we're going to get from this? Gone are the error codes, okay? Instead, what they have in here is something they're calling the scrolling problem description and fix recommendation system, okay? Basically what it does is instead of putting a cryptic error code up on the screen, it's telling you in plain English what the problem or what the error is. And then uh, it also makes a recommendation on what the solution might be or what a fix might be, okay? So uh, definitely a unique feature to this product. And finally, it does come with a one-year manufacturer's warranty, okay? Now, there's one other thing that the other uh, folks over at ProVape wanted me to let you guys know, and that is the, the production of, the support of, and the sales of the current V2.5 model will continue, okay? So you'll still be able to buy them. You'll still be able to get support uh, for them. Uh, nothing changes with the 2.5 yet. Everything is going to be business as usual, okay? So let's wrap this up by having a vape. Let's do that because I've been talking for a long time. And I will let you know, uh, guys, as I get more information, I will definitely pass it along, okay? Uh, whether it be in one of these videos or on tasterjuice.com or on Facebook, wherever. Because I want to give them some time to actually get the final market edition out there. Uh, like I said, it's still in beta. They might be doing some more tweaks to the, to the uh, operating system on it. Um, I can tell you that the beta units, because every uh, reseller is going to get, I think, two, two beta units, they are going to look a little bit different. Uh, here's a beta unit right here. Uh, and you, it's, it, you can tell by the diamonds on the side, okay? This one has the diamonds. Uh, the final market does not have the diamonds, all right? So let's give them some time to, uh, to stabilize everything, and then we'll give it a proper review. All right, folks, uh, there you go. I hope you found some of that information helpful. As always, you guys, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Can I taste your juice?